nights again. Yeah. Good day to you. It is I, Justin Hawkins. This is Justin Hawkins Rides Again, my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Today I'm talking about one of the greatest guitar players of all time, Rory Gallagher, an Irish blues and rock guitarist, singer, songwriter and producer. He formed the band Taste in the late 60s and recorded solo albums throughout the 70s and 80s. He released 40, 14 solo albums. Um, his albums have sold over 30 million copies worldwide. Um, he received his first guitar, aged nine. Um, he was known for playing a worn-out Sunburst 1961 Stratocaster for some years that he bought second-hand for £100. It was reputedly the first one in Ireland. Brilliant, brilliant stat. Um, his brother Donald has said his dream ambition was to have a guitar like Buddy Holly. This Stratocaster was in the store as a used instrument. It was £100. In today's money, you couldn't even compare. You might as well say it was a million pounds. My mother was saying that we'll be in debt for the rest of our lives, and Rory said, well, actually, with a guitar like this, I can play both parts, rhythm and lead, so we won't need a rhythm player, so I can earn more money and pay it off. So the Stratocaster became his partner for life, if you like. Sounds like he's bullshitting his mum, though, because I don't think a Strat will allow you, uh, afford you. Although, the radius of the Strat... Um, fretboard is slightly different those old ones had a, a rounder thing I guess you could actually fit your thumb over the top and do some of the bass notes I guess but you still need a bass player um, virtually all of the finish on Gallagher's, Gallagher's Stratocaster was stripped away over time and while he took care to keep the guitar in playable condition Gallagher never had it restored stating the less paint or varnish on a guitar acoustic or electric the better the wood breathes more but it's all psychological I just like the sound of it <laughs> <laughs> he dismisses his argument as psychological, but also he prefers the sound of it too. I think it's a bit of both, actually. I love a guitar with all the paint stripped off it. That players grade guitars because they've been played by people who know what they're doing. It's awesome. The ones that have been kept under people's beds or in, you know, closets. Just hasn't got the same magic, has it? Um, so I made you a little playlist of a few of the um, Rory Gallagher songs that I really love. Um, I chose stuff from his studio recordings. I mean, he's, he's got some really, really famous um, live albums um, that people sort of refer to. Just to just to give you an idea of how influential Rory Gallagher is, that's Brian May's favourite guitar player. I mean, that's high praise indeed. Um, so anyway, I've chosen four songs. The first one is uh, it's called Hellcat, and it's from the album Top Priority. Have a listen to this. Yeah, so it's got this riff because... And it goes on about the Hellcat. Here's a Hellcat loose cat. Hellcat. Um, goes through verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Stays on that chord the whole time. There is no chord progression as such. It's just this. It's so vibing, you know, for a, for a track to just be held down by the rhythm section and the guy doing that. I mean, he's getting away with murder, but, but the way he does it is like he does a phrase of singing and then he does this riff. And it alternates in that way. There's two guitar parts on the record. One of them is just holding it down. He's sort of famously known as a, as, a, as a man who played one guitar through a small amp throughout his career and people say he's got a really raw sound but I can hear a bit when he's engaging um, uh, a wah-wah pedal and I think it narrows the bandwidth a bit and makes the notes pop out sonically um, to assist the mixer in his duties and you know just give it a bit more edge when you're playing live. Also the thing about Stratocaster is there's I think on those 61 there's either three or five position pickup positions to give you all that tonal variety and there's some stuff where it sounds like split coil almost where it's really there's some something's playing with the phase of the th of the of the notes so you can detect it a mile away i think people like strats because of the versatility initially and also the light you can throw them around a bit and they're pretty much indestructible they're great guitars for this kind of music they're the greatest guitars 
So this song stays in that chord all the way through. Changes chord at about two and a half minutes, goes up to a D, I think. So he's on that A all that time, goes to D just for a little moment, and then he goes back to the A, stays there for the rest of the song. Fucking inspired. Who else can do that? Tell me, one person. One chord, one whole song. Anyway, it's great. Uh, the other one I chose from the same album is the opening track from that album, which is called Follow Me. <laughs> it's Follow Me. It's, it's got a really... loads of brilliant lead guitar playing in it really nice melody in the chorus it's a great song um the other one i i put another one on this playlist which i think appears on my guitar solos playlist as well brute force and ignorance Just because I really love the slide playing at the end. Sounds like you're on holiday. I've talked about it before. You, you'll love it. And then the last one I put is the Mississippi Shakes. Yes, and I just think he's a he's just a great lead guitarist. I really like some. Sometimes he does these uh, ow like these owls, and he's, he's got a pretty iconic owl on him. Um, I did. Uh, I read uh, an article that was written by my friend Pat Carty for the Irish um, magazine Hot Press, um, in which he said that uh, I think he said, well, maybe he just told me this off the record, but there was a time when. Uh, Rory Gallagher was being considered as one of the additional guitar players in the Rolling Stones, no less. So, you know, people in the music trade have always fought, fought very highly of him and his abilities. Um, but I think he achieved most of his success posthumously, unfortunately. Um, he has now passed away. But uh, let's celebrate the glory of Rory um, with the playlist, uh, which I've just called Rory! Exclamation mark. Maybe I'll change it to the glory of Rory. I'll change it now. Yeah, that's a much better title, isn't it? How do you change it? <laughs> Edit. The glory of Rory. Get that up on the internet. That's more like it. Yes, so I've made a little playlist there. It's called The the Glory of Rory. Um, please, to enjoy. Keep coming back and I'll see you on the ice. Just walking's right again. <gasps> okay, yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and watch one of these two videos. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>